The female cycle begins with menstruation and lasts an average of 28 days. During this time, the body prepares for a potential pregnancy. In this video, we take a look at the exact buildup processes and maturation steps that take place. In connection with the female cycle, the ovaries with the germ cells they contain and the lining of the uterus are of particular importance. As already mentioned, menstruation marks the start of a new cycle. The period lasts a few days and is the result of the shedding and flushing out of part of the old uterine lining. In the days that follow, this layer is rebuilt, stimulated by estrogen. Blood vessels sprout and supply the tissue with oxygen and nutrients. At the same time, the ovarian follicles mature in the ovaries. These follicles are divided into different stages according to their development. The primordial follicles are the most common. They have a simple structure and only have one cell layer around the egg cell. Primordial follicles can develop into primary, secondary, and tertiary follicles. One tertiary follicle matures into a graphene follicle per menstrual cycle with the help of the follicle-stimulating hormone. This stage is characterized by the clearly visible cavity, which is gradually filled with hyaluronic acid and water by the surrounding cells. Shortly before the middle of the menstrual cycle, the body releases a large amount of luteinizing hormone. This causes the follicle containing the egg to fully mature and increase significantly in size, creating a bulge on the surface of the ovary. The funnel-shaped structure of the fallopian tube moves towards the follicle, which is about to burst. The fallopian tube catches the egg and some of the surrounding follicular fluid. Ovulation typically occurs around the 14th day of the cycle. The fertilizable egg is then transported towards the uterus with the help of cilia located on the inner surface of the fallopian tube. The graphian follicle remaining in the ovary transforms into the corpus luteum and produces plenty of progesterone. Progesterone stimulates further maturation of the uterine lining. Spiral arteries develop and the uterine lining prepares for the implantation of an embryo. However, if the egg is not fertilized and consequently no pregnancy occurs, the corpus luteum degenerates and the progesterone level drops considerably. As a result, the spiral arteries constrict and the mucous membrane is no longer supplied with sufficient blood. It dies and is flushed out together with the unfertilized egg during menstruation. A new cycle has begun. If you liked the video and want to support me, leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more exciting topics.